welcome back to the channel. It has been almost a month since I've filmed anything. The last video you saw was classroom setup and that was like the first week of August that I set up my classroom and now it's August 29th. So today is Monday. We are entering the fourth week of school and I didn't plan on taking a couple weeks off. I really do want to film this year and just kind of remember it for my own sake. Um, but the beginning of the year is crazy. And so once I realized it was going to be too much and I truly was like behind on editing because there was so much to do, I just decided I'm going to wait till I catch up and then we'll start filming again whenever that is. But like I said, it's August 29th, the fourth week of school. It's a full week. I have a lot of cool things happening. Um, open house slash curriculum night is this week. This weekend I have a very exciting thing happening which I'll tell you about more later and that'll be its own vlog but I'm just going to kind of do a normal week in the life. I feel like my class has kind of, you know, figured out somewhat of a routine so far. We kind of have our dynamic set, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's about 6.45. I've just kind of set up my room. I always start with the lights off and just like the lamps and stuff for like a calm vibe in the morning. Um, they're going to do some morning work, come in, and I'm just going to teach. So I'm going to try my best to like film little clips of me teaching on my phone this week. But it's going to be what it is. Um, our district has a new curriculum for reading and phonics and PA. So all of that are things that I'm still learning. Um, so I don't feel like I'm a pro at those things. I'll try to film some of it, but we will see. Um, but yeah, I am just getting myself together here. And then the day will start. I have about 20 minutes before kids come. I just printed some things. I'm going to go make some seat work packets. And then I'll be ready to greet them as they come in and get our day going. But yeah, happy Monday. I'll check in a little later and hopefully I will have shown you some things that I've taught. <laughs> when I'm in this town, look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me. All right. <laughs> it's the next day. I had every intention of vlogging yesterday and I feel like Mondays are just, they're a lot. So it didn't happen. Um, and that's okay. Today is now Tuesday, and I thought it would be easier for me to kind of go over what we're going to do today with you on my PowerPoint, and then show you some things in the room that I am implementing this year. And if I get clips today, great. I'm really going to try it. <laughs> okay. So let me kind of show you what my PowerPoint's looking like. Okay. I know it's kind of dark in here, but this is what you're going to get. Here's my little greeting slide, my attendance slide. We're going to watch this video for morning meeting. Normally we have a social emotional lesson, but on our scope and sequence, we don't have one this week. So I just found a storyline online, which are great. If you don't know what they are, um, they have celebrities read books and this one is a shorter video. So we're going to do that one. Have a brain break. Reading and writing is all in wonders this year. And so I feel like I can't really speak on it yet because I haven't done it long enough to really form an opinion, but that's just going to be up there while I, I don't need to add something to the PowerPoint because the Wonders, like, portal has everything, so we'll do Wonders, have a brain break, and then we're going to do Phonics, we're using 95 Core, so I have the little mascot there, same thing, I use the website to do it today, and this week we're talking about short O and, like, closed syllable patterns. And then this is my rotations board, um, and I'm going to blur out the names of the kids, but I have writing, library, word work, write the room, seat work, and teacher table. Hopefully soon we'll have devices, and I'll change teacher table to devices, and then I just will call kids over um, from their center because I don't love having my own center for it because then I have to do the same ability grouping and not grouping by like behavior which is what I prefer to do so every day they go through three of them and then the next day the other three 
and I have these little visuals to help them, but in a minute I'm going to walk around the room and kind of show you what those centers look like. Okay, then we do another brain break. Then we do Haggerty, which is phonological awareness. Then we go to lunch and recess. Come back, do a brain break. We're really big Go Noodle fans. Okay, math today. We're talking about using a numeral to represent a number of objects. We'll watch this count by 10 video as like a warm up. And then our county has made like daily lesson PowerPoints. So I'll pull that up to teach. And then we're doing um, a graded assignment today. So I have that on there to remember to do it. Same thing with reading, um, but we only have two rotations. So write the room, teacher table, seat work, and then a math game. And so they do two one day, two the next day. Then we'll go to PE. We'll have a brain break when we come back. And then science day. I don't know why these things aren't loading. Is that better? Yeah. Science today, we're talking about weather. So we'll start our weather journal. We'll talk about weather words. We'll watch this video. Kind of dive into the basics of weather. And then if we have time at the end of the day, we watch a magic school bus. And then we pack up and we go home. So that's uh, kind of what our day looks like. I feel like I'm such a routine teacher that it's kind of hard for me to like share super intellectual or innovative ideas because I kind of stick to the same things I've done um, just because it's easy for me, honestly. And like this job is super fun to like be creative, but there's moments and seasons where I just don't want to. And after last year, I'm just kind of trying to do what I know worked. And I have implemented um, some new centers. So I have Write the Room and um, like these word work and math games. And I got all of them from TPT. I splurged on them because they're for like the whole year. And one of my biggest things that I learned about my own instruction last year is that I did not have good centers. And that made, you know, rotations and like center time super difficult, which then made small group really hard. And that's something that I told myself I needed to be better at this year. That was like the main thing. So I'm going to kind of show you what today's look like. And they change... So the packs I bought give us like give you like five for the month, but I'm using like two a week. So I know I'm going to run out towards the end of the year or I'm going to have to reuse them or something. Um, and I'm fine with that, especially because like the last, you know, couple weeks, I'm fine just reusing some and saying like, hey, it's good to review, you know. So let me kind of show you what they look like. Okay, so I have these little write the room cards um, all over the room. See, there's two more over there. The top one is for reading and the bottom one is for math. So the cards are around the room and then I have these sheets that they put on clipboards and they walk around. So for instance, today, like number three, we just saw the vest on the wall. So which one does vest rhyme with? Lunch or rest? They color in rest and then they write rest. So if this one's a little trickier for them, but they're doing pretty good on it. And then for math, they're putting the first number, which is on the card, rolling a die for the second number, and then doing the equation. I ignore these back here. They're from a project last week. These are the like word work math game center. So for August, we have some different cards with words on them. They write the word, and then they're going to write a sentence at the bottom. And then for math, I also like that these come with instructions so the kids know what to do. There are matching the two cards. I should have printed these on colored paper, but oh well. And then filling it in on the sheet. So those are my two new centers. I have writing, of course, and I have a writing center um, bundle that I also purchased last year that I will put in the link as well. I haven't really set that up yet this year, so that's one of my goals to do like this weekend and introduce it next week. Um, and then seat work, I just kind of make a packet of the things that we learned the week before so they like know how to do it and I think that's all of them. Oh, the library they just read a book and then my table so that has helped me a lot so far this year I feel pretty good about like the routines I've had I've been getting here early every day just because I know that I work better in the morning and I would rather have 
like an hour or so to my own brain and my own self before kids show up. Um, and then depending on the day, I stay a little bit or I don't. And I think I'm just still getting into the routine of like what I need copied for the centers, what I need copied for our lessons, all that. Um, and it's going well. I am pretty tired though <laughs> today. So I got here. I haven't done too much. I've kind of just cleaned up a little bit, made sure the centers were good today, made sure my PowerPoint was good, filled my water, you know, things like that. Um, but I have about 20 minutes before kids show up. My plan is to... Um, what was I just thinking that I was going to do? Crap. Oh, we have work outside that we hung up. We have our curriculum night on Thursday, which I'm pretty nervous about, to be honest. Um, so they wanted us to have work out in the hallway. So I have that out there, and we need to put up, like, a standard next to it. So I'm going to print that page out and hang it out there. I have my learning targets that I need to fill out because I haven't done that at all this year and I know that I'm going to want those done for when parents come so I'm going to get that done today and that's what I'm going to do this morning in the next 20 minutes it's not going to take 20 minutes I'll think of other things to do I have this like basket of where kids put books if they don't know where they go and that's pretty overflowing so I'm going to try to get a kid to whoa hello I'm going to try to get a student to put some of those books away for me, and I'll just kind of guide them on where they go from my desk. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a good day. Yesterday was a lot, so I'm going to really try to film. I think filming during reading, like, the lesson is almost impossible because Wonders is still so new to me. I feel like I sound like I'm fumbling when I'm teaching it. And phonics, I'm up walking around to, like, see what they're doing and making sure they're doing the activity correctly. And obviously I can't film them, so, and I won't. Um, but I'm going to try to film a little bit of small group today. Small group today, we're just doing an assessment that I forgot to do last week. And um, math will be good. I don't know. It feels, for some reason, it feels like this year has been, like, way more center heavy. And maybe it's just because, like, I've put more effort into them. I don't know. Or maybe it's because reading and whole group has just been really hard for me so far this year to learn because we're learning a new curriculum. So I'll do my best to film a couple clips today. Can't promise you anything though. And worst comes to worst, I'll check it at the end of the day. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me ramble, oh my gosh. All right, on this page, there's a box that says characters and why they could not be real. Okay, so the first one is Sam. Sam is a character in the class. Raise your hand. Why were why can't Cliff be real? We talked about that a little bit before we sat down. Uh, he can't wear clothes. He can't wear clothes. What was the last one? He can't ride a motorcycle. So my sentence is gonna say, he wears clothes and rides a motorcycle. All right. The next character was the pig, right? The pig's name is Slim. What about Slim could not be real? Pigs are that big, right? Is there a pig that's ever been way bigger than a tiger? No. Probably not. How about our sentence says, and I'll try to write it a little bigger. He is too big and can not swing. These are full sentences, so you should have periods after them. Okay? So these boxes say character setting events. What is a character? A person or an animal that's in the story, right? What's a setting? Who knows what that is? The place that the story's in, right? And what about the events? It's where it takes place. Good oh, guess, that's the setting. The events are what happens. What happened in the story, okay? So take five seconds, make sure you're pushed in, your pencil's in your hand, you're looking at me. 
All right, so the first part is the characters. We have two characters, right? We have Cliff and Slim. Now let's think about the setting. Where were they in that story? They're definitely outside, right? Where were they outside, do you think? Um, in the backyard. They might be in a yard, right? They were kind of near Cliff's house. We're going to write outside, in a yard, or garden. Now the events of the story. What happened in this story? This is probably going to be a big sentence. I'm just going to write down, so it's okay if you go past the line. Cliff and Slim slipped, that's a big word, down a hill. We'll have that be the main event. When I'm in this town, look at the beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am sitting in my cozy little sweatshirt because it's cold in here this morning. And I don't know if this happens to everybody, but I feel like on Wednesday and sometimes Thursday, I am like way too sleepy in the morning. So that's happening to me right now. And my camera's going to die. That's awesome. Anyway. I'll try to speak fast. Our day is going to be pretty normal as yesterday. Reading is still wonders. Phonics is still 95 core. Math, we're still talking about um, like tens frames and like grouping tens and then ones that are left over. Like 16 has one ten and six. 25 has two tens and five. Things like that. Um, but the thing we're painting today is a landform project. Last week we learned about four of the landforms and my dumb self told these kids to make kind of like a blob so I made like clay or whatever out of flour and water and make like a blob and then try to make texture on it and next week we'll paint them to look like landforms but of course everybody else was smart and had the mold individual landforms so mine are gonna look jank but it's okay uh, I'm not redoing it <laughs> So we're painting those today. I'll try to take some clips on my phone when we do it, but yeah, it's a good day. I got here a little later than normal. It's already 6.50, and I'm just going to set up for my day and try to have a good one. Um, I'll charge the camera later and check in with you tonight. I'm going to be myself. 